What's going on everyone? This is Pro Digital Gear, and today we are going to be setting up the GP4000 by Canon. This is an incredible large format printer with new ink colors. We are super excited to unbox this thing, so let's get started. First we have to cut the tie downs. Then cut the tape on top of the box. Open up the box top. Then we're going to take out the printer stand legs. There's the left. And there's the right. Then we have our catch basket arms. There's the right one. And the left one is over here. Then we have the middle support bar for the printer stand. Next, we can take out all the parts and accessories for the printer. Here's our plug. We have our inks. Then we have our print head and some parts for the catch basket. The other end of our printer spindle, some more inks. And then we have some miscellaneous parts and hardware. And some more parts to the catch basket. Here's our install directions and warranty information. We have some starter paper. This is the Canon HW coated HD media. The protective styrofoam is held on by tape, so it's a little tricky to get off. But if you can get these top parts off, it makes getting the box off of the printer a lot easier. Now let's remove the box. I usually shimmy it from one side to the other, and eventually it comes up over the top. Now we can get rid of the rest of the styrofoam on the sides. Get out of here. Then we can fold up our box and take that out of the picture. Now let's take off the plastic covering. And in the front, on the bottom of the pallet, we have some remaining parts to our catch basket. Do not forget to take this off of the pallet. For now, we're gonna wheel our printer out of the way. So we have some of our core adapters for our printer spindle. And our hardware. We're gonna start out with this hardware here. This is the hardware that goes to our printer stand. And we need to set that up first. We have our right side and our left side of the printer stand. We could take off this cardboard here on both upright pieces of the printer stand. Then we could take off the plastic. Then we could take the plastic off of the support bar that joins the left and the right side of the printer stand. Now the support bar will slide into a track on each leg of the printer stand. Make sure that the hook on the support bar is on top. Here's a close up. It should slide in just like this. Now from our hardware, we are gonna need these four bolts right here. And we'll need the supplied Allen wrench that fits these bolts. We simply thread them into the top and bottom parts of our support bar on each leg and then tighten them down. Don't forget to do this for both the left and right side legs of the printer stand. Okay, now it's time to put the printer onto the stand. Canon recommends that you use at least four people to do this. Carefully lower it onto the stand. There are two holes in the printer that line up with the two metal tabs on the printer stand, and you should feel the printer lock in to the stand. This is why it's a good idea to have more than just two people. 
because you can have someone look underneath the printer to make sure that the printer is falling into the right areas of the printer stand. Okay, now we're gonna need this hardware and the Allen key that goes with it. There are six screws that go underneath the printer. There's three on each side. Okay, now the GP4000 is securely fastened to the stand and we can go ahead and remove all the plastic tape and protective styrofoam from the printer. Let's go ahead and start here, pulling off this tape. And taking out this styrofoam here. We can remove this tape. and all of the styrofoam. Now on this side, we do not want to pull off this tape yet. Wait for that one. That clips on to the belt that actually drives the print head. So we don't wanna just yank off that tape. Potentially we could damage the belt. So let's hold off on that, move over to here and remove this tape. We can remove this tape on this side holding the styrofoam block. and do the same for the other side. Now that we have carefully removed all the other tape, we can open up the top cover and slowly remove this card and remove this tape right here. We have a nice cleaning tool. Then we carefully remove this guard off of the belt. Next, we could take off the tape that is surrounding the print head. We have some styrofoam on the top here. As well as the orange guard in the front of the print head. Again, we want to do this carefully so that we do not damage any of the parts on the print head. We could take this plastic out here. Then we'll move down to our printer spindle, which also has some moving tape wrapped around it. If you want, you could put together your printer spindle, put it on the core adapters and the other side of the printer spindle. Then we wanna carefully open up the package which contains our print head. Again, do this very carefully. Remove the tape off the top. Gently lift out the print head. On this side, we have orange guards protecting the dampers of the print head. We could take those off. Look at those shiny nozzles. First, go ahead and lift this top tab forward and then open up the carriage. We wanna make sure that this circuit board is facing this way and that the dampers are facing forward. Gently drop in the print head into the carriage, just like this, and then push this lock forward and this one back, and you'll feel it click in. And then we can close our lid. And now it's time to put in all 11 of our inks. First, let's open up the packaging. Do this carefully, maybe using scissors instead of a knife. You don't want to puncture the cartridges, which would probably be difficult to do, but still you don't want ink all over the place. And you don't want to ruin one of your cartridges. Thank you. 
Look at the new colors, violet and fluorescent pink. So these are all the 11 colors here. So what we want to do is gently agitate each cartridge and then put them into the printer. So let's start on the left side and open up each bay. Again, remembering to gently agitate the cartridges. We can put in our magenta, our orange, our violet, our yellow, our photo black, and our red. Then we close and lock in each bay. And then close the top cover. Now let's move over to the right side of the printer, open up the remaining bays, Gently agitate the inks side to side just like this, and then put in our cyan, our fluorescent pink, our green, our gray, and our matte black. Then we need to close the bays and lock them in. and then close our cover. Let's go ahead and plug in our printer. It's recommended, of course, that you use a surge protector. Okay, now let's go ahead and power on the GP4000. First, it's gonna ask us for our language, then our time zone, And then Canon wants us to send information about the printer. You could do this or choose not to. I just hit agree. Then we can go ahead and hit OK to start the setup. It confirms all the inks that we put in the printer. Just double check those and hit OK. So then the printer wants us to drop in our print head. But we've already done this. So all we need to do is open up the top cover and then close it. Next, it's gonna ask us to put in some media. So let's go ahead and take one sheet of our sample media. Hit OK. Click on Manual, because we're not using Roll yet. Open up our top cover. Lift up the suction lever and then feed in our media so that it matches up with these orange lines on the printer. Then we can close our suction lever and then close the front cover. The printer will feed in the media and then it'll ask us to select the media type. We go under coded papers and choose the HW coded HG. So now the printer is gonna complete the setup and while it's doing that, we can go ahead and set up our catch basket. Let's first take out the arms of the catch basket and take off that orange tape. Then we can grab this hardware and this Allen wrench. These arms screw on to the inside of the printer leg on the bottom. There's notches that help you line it up and the screws go through onto the leg just like this. There's two screws for each arm. Go ahead and do the left side. Pull off that orange tape. Line up the notches and then put in our two screws. Okay, now on the back of the legs, we're gonna wanna put these pieces, which also screw into the printer leg. Again, on each leg. And 
And then if we want, we can attach this small plastic bin, which we can put things in that are important to the printer. It has notches that align on the printer stand, and then there's one screw that goes through the middle. Okay, now let's take out the rest of our catch basket. We can flip it over like this and unravel it. Put this bar in the back. Unfold the rest of the basket. Connect the front bar to each arm. Here's a close up. It should snap in just like this on each arm. Then we can move over to the back of the printer. Run this bar through the basket. Got to go all the way through and it sits in at the bottom of those plastic parts that we put on our stand and then we take the loop and loop it around this plastic part on both sides of the stand so now our catch basket is done and we just need to wait for the printer to finish it'll eventually start printing out patterns like this the printer is using this to adjust the print head to make sure that it is printing at peak performance you can see those beautiful new colors popping off the page when that's done, we can lift up our suction lever and let the print fall into the catch basket and then close our suction lever. Man, look at those beautiful colors, especially the new fluorescent pink. Now that that's done, we have one more step. We want to make sure that each nozzle is firing perfectly, but we want to go to our maintenance menu. Then go to nozzle check and then hit yes. Then we have to load in some more paper. So we open the top cover, lift up the suction lever, align the media with the orange lines on the printer. Then close the suction lever, then close the front cover. Then we need to choose the papers. Again, go under coated. HW coded HG, and then our GP4000 will print the nozzle check. Now these patterns represent each color in the printer, and we want to make sure that these lines are perfect. No breaks, no smudges, just perfect grid. As you can see, our nozzle check is flawless, so now we are ready to print. And that's it. The Canon GP4000 is officially unboxed and set up and ready to go. And that'll do it for today's video. We hope this information was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to call or email the knowledgeable staff at Pro Digital Gear 1 459 1482. Email us at sales at prodigitalgear.com. And also feel free to visit our website www.prodigitalgear.com. All right. Thank you so much for watching.